What's going on everyone? I am the OP Jill, and tonight I have for you another Pokemon Showdown live, once again in the RSOU tier. Let me go ahead and get my team selected, but uh, today we are using um, SD Mega Subtile. This team hasn't been tested a lot, but I did like the synergy it had with the uh, Grassy and Z Tapu Bulu to get up the Grassy Surge, and then if we can get up a Swords Dance with the Mega Subtile, we can potentially clean with that really nice speed stat, and I believe its attack stat even goes up a little. Um, we do have... Um, a nice drag mag core here with a uh, Sceptile, Guardship, Magnezone, just to trap those annoying steel types. Despite both of these having um, Earthquake, obviously, I just want to get rid of them. Because a lot of them do have Sturdy. And then we have uh, Grassy MZ Tapu Bully here, pretty much just to get up the Grassy Terrain and break a hole if it can. And then we have um, the offensive core of Greninja and Tapu Koko, so uh, let's get into the battle. Actually, before that, in case you guys are wondering what the um, background here is, uh, this is actually my Pokemon Draft League brand. Uh, the end starts at the aggrons. In case you're just here for showdown lives, you probably don't know what this is, but you probably see it around the channel a lot. Like, I probably upload more of the aggrons than showdown lives, so um, I would definitely recommend checking out Draft League format if you haven't. And uh, let's get into a battle. <laughs> Settings are alright, right? Greninja's 31 attack IVs. Okay, just a second. Does it not have 31 attack IVs? No, it has zero. Derp. Okay. Is there anything else that's wrong? There we go. Let me uh, make it bigger for you guys. So, SD Sceptile can win if I can weaken the Skarmory, and if it's not like Scarf Raptor. Uh, Volcarona is a really big threat. I do have to preserve my Sturdy, and even if it gets Quiver Dances up, we can't hit that that hard. Uh, we are Offensive Mega Chomp. I don't know if we can take a hit from the Volcarona, though. That's the problem. I'm thinking he might lead Ninetales just to get up the hail in an Aurora Veil if he wants to do that. So I kind of want to lead something that threatens that, like the Magnezone. Because he actually leads Tapu Lele, so this works out pretty finely. Um, he doesn't really have a, best, a really nice switch into this. Yeah, he really doesn't. I'm just going to click... I'm thinking about Volt Switching, but... Yeah, I'm going to click Volt Switch. He could have Hidden Power Fire. Flash Cannon's the best play. Yeah, he does go for the Hidden Power Fire, so... We can go for the flash cannon, bring that thing all the way down, and now we can volt switch our way out of here. I do need this thing to trap the Skarmory though, so... He is going to go out onto the Volcarona, which is officially into range of my Garchomp's Earthquake. As I think I want to get up rocks here over anything, because I don't expect him to stay in. If he does, Well, this is a threat, but I, I really don't think he stays in on this. He did. What is this? Shattered Psyche? That knocks me out. What does it get? Psychic? Either way, we can go out into this and click Specs. Wait, is this Hydro Cannon? Did that say Hydro Cannon? That definitely said Hydro Cannon. Oh my god, I, I definitely typoed a ton when I uh, built this team. Hydro Pump. Well, we got our Battle Bond, but he just gets to. Um, Oh, the good thing about this is that, well, he's going to try to get a defog off, but Volcaro knows into range of our attack, so we have to recharge here, unfortunately. I'm actually thinking about clicking Hydro Cannon again, as crazy as, as that sounds. Yeah. <laughs> I like how Hydro Cannon is working out. That's going to die to Stealth Rocks. Wait, do we, did we burn our turn of recharge with that? No, we didn't. He's gonna go for the close combat and knock us out, but that's alright because um, we can go out into the Tapu Koko. If he has Choice Scarf, he's locked into that. If he's not, that means he has to. Um, Dazzling Gleams to play here. He has to switch out into the Garchomp. As we can catch that with the Dazzling Gleam, knock it out with the crit. I don't know if that mattered or not, but we. He would have had to be a Scarf, and if he was Scarf, then I could bring in either Sceptile or Tapu Bulu after. And he's going to uh, leave. So let's get another match. Uh, I actually want to close this. Uh, we are Hydro Pump now, not Hydro Cannon, but I, I swear, what, what what's up with this Greninja? I actually don't swear. I keep my channel quite PG. Uh, let's search for another battle. Is this guy coming back? Oh, I doubt it. 
not many people on the ladder this early in the morning. Uh, the GBA finals actually go up later today between uh, George and Emmy, so that's something I'm really looking forward to. Um, I'm not going to say I'm rooting for because I know a lot of you guys might have mixed opinions on that in the comments, but I am rooting for someone. Uh, this can also destroy his team again, but once again, that Steel Flying type in Celesteela is a really big threat. And Scizor can also be a problem with the BP, although he can't BP me in his own psychic terrain, so that's good. Uh, beautiful Kiram Black over there. I'm thinking about just leading off the Garchomp. As he's going to lead off with the Kibi. Problem is, do I think this is Scarf? I think I just have to assume it's not. Ah, oh, this, this actually puts me in a tough spot. I'm looking Outrage. Actually, I'm clicking Earthquake here. I don't think he has the best switch. In. He can go sell a Steel if he really wants to, but... Well, actually, if I'm switching, expecting a switch, I get up rocks, yeah. I'm glad I switched that at the last minute. And so what I can do here is... He could go for, like, a Heavy Slam. I'm gonna try to trap it with Magnezone. You could expect that and double out into the Garchomp. Which I kind of want to expect in just Earthquake right here. I don't see what he can really do to me. I seriously think he'll double into the Garchomp. Yeah, we catch that. As uh, we don't scout his set, but that does appear to be um, defensive. He's probably going to get up his own rocks here, from the looks of it. Or he could just throw off his own earth Earthquake, but I'm going to go for another Earthquake. See what he does. He's going to get up his rocks, okay. As what I'm going to do is... Probably Earthquake again, it doesn't matter. I could double out into Magnezone, but... As he's going to bring out the Wall Maria. And I kind of want to scout whether this thing has the Earthquake or not before I go out into my Magnezone. So, I'm going to Earthquake here. I guess if he has the Earthquake, he'll go for it now, expecting my Magnezone, because that'll also weaken my Garchomp a little bit. But I have to get these plays right. Um, another play he could make is the Tyranitar play, but why would that want to take an Earthquake if I stay in? He does double back out into the Garchomp, so we get rid of that thing. I'm just not making this Magnezone switch. I'm not risking that, because we need that to trap Scizor later in the game as well. So we traded rocks, but I got rid of a Mon, but he got a ton of Life Orb recoil in, so... I guess that works out for him, I guess. What would he do here? We are rough skin, so if Scizor does come out, he actually goes out into the Karen Black. This, is this thing Scarf? If it's Scarf, it's going to go for an Ice or Dragon type move. I, can't, I don't really have anything that wants to take the combination of those. It is Choice Scarf, so at least we confirm that. And he has Choice locked into the Ice Beam. Uh, Tapu Koko, do you take one? Karen Black, I guess it's double Zoya usage without this. I seen the 62 to 74, so yeah, we can take one on Tapu Koko. And honestly, I kind of just want to Volt Switcher. Actually, I'm going to Dazzling Gleam. Not, he might not expect me to have the Dazzling Gleam. We do love that. He doesn't freeze us, which is nice. We got off a nice amount, and now he can't switch back into rocks. As I think I'm actually going to pull out the switch into Greninja here. Um, I don't know, I don't remember exactly what the electric terrain does, but I think it might prevent him from freezing me. Which is cool, we're gonna go for the water shirk in here. Uh, letting Greninja get weakened was arguably a misplay because he does not have the best answers to this now. As the psychic terrain does go up, so our water shirk will not work, but we do have a nice switch in into this. In the Magnezone, but I need Magnezone to trap later. I'm thinking about just sacking him on here. Which I think is going to be the Tapu Koko. Now I have to pre well, how much health is it at? 13.9. It can switch into rocks again, so. Sceptile can win, but he still does have those two steel types in the back. That's the problem. I'm going to try Sceptile here. He could just knock me out with like a Psychic. As he goes for the Focus Blast and misses, so I guess that's kind of best case scenario for me. We're going to go for the Leaf Blade here. 
I don't, he might switch, he's probably going to switch out into one of the steel types, but any damage on those is going to be nice. As he goes for the uh, scissor play, so he's definitely U-turning right here, because he doesn't want to get trapped by the Magnezone, so I have a decision as to what I want to sack here. We're just going to Earthquake, he's definitely U-turning. Yep, there's the U-turn. So we get damage on that, which is really all I wanted. And my way of winning this match is cleaning up with the... Um, I'm going to ignore. I think I have to do that somewhere up here. Anyway, um, so the scissor comes out. I probably should just start doing that at the beginning of every match, to be honest. He's going to bring out the T-Tar, which our Tapu Bulu can switch in on very nicely. And what I'm actually going to do is, with the Scissor a weekend, I think I might actually drop to the Z-Move. Base power 190, I'm going to go for this. This is a 190 in the grassy terrain from a Tapu Bulu. I don't think, how much so help will Scissor be at? 56, it'll go down to 44. I actually think that might drop. Celesteela, on the other hand, is a bigger problem. I actually don't think I can do this here. I can't really, I don't really have another play though. I could go for a normal wood hammer into the Z move, I guess. But if it's then a scissor comes out, then yeah, we're gonna knock this thing out. Why did this guy end up coming back? I never claimed my victory. Now, I guess you can go out into the Celestila or the Scissor or even the Kyurem if you- No, the Kyurem can come back in. Uh, who do I sec? Who do I sec? I think Magnezone can win this game, so... Actually, Magnezone is going to be how I win this game. Especially if it's not Earthquake on the offensive Celestila, if it is offensive. I don't know what this thing's gonna knock me out with, but I'm just gonna Horn Leech. It could be like Choice Spec, Psy Shock, or Psychic, which will definitely knock me out. I don't remember whether it attack. It went for Focus Blast earlier, so it could very well be Specs or Scarf. I mean, Specs or Life Orb. He missed, so I didn't confirm anything, but I guess I kind of needed that miss to stay in this. We have the Hidden Power, right? Yeah, Hidden Power Fire. Would he double into the Scizor here? I guess if he does, it doesn't really matter because he's going to end up knocking out my Tapu Bulu anyway. The problem is I don't want it roosting up. He did show the U-turn on it, so it could be offensive and he could U-turn out of my Magnezone into something else. So, ideally, it says or is his last that we knock out. And if it wasn't for the potential BP, Kiram, I mean, Tapu Koko is actually looking really threatening right now too. Actually, when it comes in, I think it gets another kill with T-Bolt, because he will have to sack off the Kyurem. Let's see what my opponent opts to do here. Will he just knock me out? Will he expect to switch into the Magnezone? I kind of hope he does and goes for the Focus Blast over anything, and then we can just Horn Leech and get all this health back. He's probably typing, and I'm just not looking at it because we have him ignored, but uh, that's what the ignore button's for. He's going to go for the Psychic and knock us out. Take some Sandstorm and Tapu Koko with the uh, Tapu Lele. Let's say it specs T Bolt does nothing. Wait, is, this is under no, this is under. We need an electric train. Sixty-seven to eight. He's at seventy. I think I have to go for the roll. No, Greninja's just a better play because we get a kill right here. Assuming we connect Hydro Pump, he's probably going to sack off his Kyurem. And then bring out something like the... See, if he has Scarf, he's, lo he's scarfed himself into the Psychic, so he can't hit me. And then Hydro Pump will knock him out, so... We're definitely getting a kill right here, unless assuming we connect, obviously. Celesteela could be Spit F, actually. No, I didn't think about that. He is going to sack off the Kyurem, as I expected, as um, I think we get another kill, assuming 
does, um, he killed, he knocked out my Tapu Bulu from 88. And he, it was a Psychic, so, under Psychic Terrain, it did 7. I think it got a max roll. Oh, that's Tapu Fini. He's doing 9200, so that's, that's definitely Specs, Tapu, um, Lele. Uh, this, is this in Psychic Terrain? No, this is in Grassy Terrain. Oh, it actually doesn't have to be Specs, it could be Scarf. I think it's real, if he, at the, judging from how much time he's taking, I think he realizes that he is not Scarf Tapu Lele. And that we pretty much get another kill here, because, uh, unless Scizor's BP knocks me out, but I doubt it. It could, I mean, Greninja's a paper bag. Or maybe he's just trying to blow, stall the timer so that way he can bluff uh, me, him not being Scarf with the Tapu Lele. I see that strategy being thrown out a lot. Go for the Hydro Pump here, it, it will knock him out, BP should not. Oh, he has the second, we have the second terrain up, so. We got our Battle Bond, and I think we're fine. Assuming we connect two, and at this point, Tapu Koko just comes in and wins as well. It's a good thing that it can switch into rocks again. Go for the Hydro Pump. You can go for the, I guess, what would this thing hit me with? It actually lives, so this should have been its play first. Uh, Hydro Pump. He has to lock himself into Scarf Focus Blast if he wants to have a chance to win. And I think that's what he's going for. Well, if he was going for that, he would have gone out into it first. No, we just Hydro Pump here every time. Yep, we connect. So now we don't take any more uh, Leech Seed damage, which is, I guess it's not going to end up mattering in the end. He's going to bring out the Tapu Lele, and if it's not Scarf into Focus Blast right now, we uh, win. As it is not. And we end up taking the second win, so... Uh, two wins right there. Uh, pretty clean, pretty clean. Let's go for a third one. Uh, this guy has Kama and Comfy. Uh, this team looks kind of threatening. Why are we on the ladder now? Uh, we're 1375. So, uh, not terribly high, but it's not terrible. Uh, I'm thinking Garchomp has a really nice matchup here. It doesn't have the Stone Edge, unfortunately. Greninja can lead pretty nicely as well. Actually, Greninja kind of destroys him. Uh, does Hydro Pumps from Greninja knock out? Uh, this is not that. If we're choice specs against Mega Charizard Y. Uh, draw wall breaker. Obviously, that's obviously that's gonna knock us out. But if we have hydro pump in the sun, isn't that this is in the sun? It's not knocking them out. So I think what I'm going to do here is just go right into Tapu Koko, expecting the solar beam, as he is Zardui, and he should go for solar beam. Yep, there it is. Uh, so he gets a nice amount of damage off, but. Uh, we can pull a double switch here into our guard chomp to get up a rocks as he goes a drill. Um, as I think it's spit off drill from this set as he does bring out the drill. So we can either get a free earthquake off here or go for the... If we had stone edge this would completely destroy him. I'm gonna get up a rocks. He could probably get up his own. As he does. So we could have knocked him out with earthquake but that's fine. If I assess D do I just win? No, he could be Scarf Tapu Lele. Let's try it. I mean, why not? Okay, this is a problem because I have to lock myself into Outrage if I want this to work. Do I have switch into this? I'm actually thinking about just going for Outrage. Uh, Stone Edge would be so nice here. I'm going for Outrage. It'll, this is a big threat, and it can come in on my Magnezone every time, and my Tapu Bulu. And you could spin those hazards away later, and it can come in uh, more safely. What is this, Swords Dance? This is going to take a... Plus 2 outrage is going to do a lot to this, especially if you're not... Uh, if you're Spidef, not defensive. 
that actually just straight up knocked him out. <laughs> wow. Okay. So I'm not too worried about this because Tapu Bulu can come out on and after. So he's going to go out into the, um, I mean, he's going to go for the Calm Mind. As we can actually Earthquake if we want, but is that really a risk I want to take at this point? I think I will. Oh, Draining Kiss actually knocks me out. Wait, Comfy, how fast are you? Two. What the heck? 328? This is only 201. I don't know whether he has coverage for this build, that's the thing. So I'm actually thinking about just going right for the flash cannon right here. He doesn't have the best switch-ins. And if his only offensive move to hit me is Draining Kiss, we should be fine. He does have the Hidden Power Fire. I think what we have to do is go for the... He's Fairy type. I think we just go for the Specs Hydro Pump as we miss. Of course, but he does... If we can crit this now. We have to crit this now. Because that into the next one would have... Oh, he's actually faster. Why is he faster? <laughs> yeah, that's definitely game. <laughs> Not a clean sweep. <laughs> Because I think Tapu Koko can actually win this match if we play it right. This is going to come out. If it's Scarf, I think he just wins with it. <laughs> Let's go for the wood hammer, because... As he actually goes for the SD, I wonder how much this is going to do. Does not <laughs> Uh, can Tapu Koko kill it, is the question. I don't know whether Psychic um, Thunderbolt will knock him out uh, under the electric terrain. I doubt it, but if it does, we can actually win this match. How much health is Tapu Lele at? It's actually at full, so I don't think we have a chance. Wait, how did that get knocked out? Uh, against this, this goes to 120, this goes to 120, but this hits the top of Lele harder. So we click this. That's a nice amount. So we bring out Sceptile right here, and I think it comes down to, do we crit Leaf Blade? So I'm going to Mega all of SD here. Because that's the only way I'm actually knocking out the Lele. As he's going to try to do that, I'm curious as to whether Sucker Punch actually knocks us out or not. Go for the Leaf Blade here. This guy's nice. I checked out way too early. I didn't expect any of the stuff that I did to do as much as uh, to do as much damage as they actually did. Yeah, so if he is Scarf, he will knock us out. If he isn't, then we should win. He 
should go for the... If he's Scarf, then he just clicks uh, Moonblast. Okay, so he's gonna get a ton of points from me because he was the... Um, he was a lower um, on the ELS, ELO, so uh, that's fine. I, this will probably be the last one. I think we're like, what, 3 and 1 right now. Another team that gets torn apart by Greninja. I'm actually just going to lead. Uh, we can trap the Ferrothorn very nicely, and we can play those mind games again, so I'm not too worried about that. He ends up leading off with the Zygarde. I'm kind of expecting him to expect the Ice Beam here, so I'm going to go right for the Hydro Pump. As he does go Magirna, we like, stuck that thing with a Specs Hydro Pump. Uh, now Flur Cannon could come out, which we actually have no switchings for, so I'm going for this again. We can scout his set, and we actually crit and don't knock him out. He goes for the Volt Switch and does not knock me out, so I guess we actually kind of got that correct. We aren't, we don't have the Lightning Rod with our Mega Sceptile yet, so we couldn't have tanked it with that. This is going to come out, Carly just go for an extreme speed. This is an opportunity for... Yep, there's the extreme speed. I could have gone out into guard shop and got some damage off, but I figured it was not worth it at that point. Oh, hold up. I go evolve in Swords Dance. I know we're going for this right now, I don't care if you're Scarf Lottie. Yeah, Scarf Lottie, yeah, that was such a bad play. <laughs> okay, so we can go out into this now. Go right for the... This actually can win. Dazzling Gleam. Sex off the Magirino, which is a very nice play. He could go out into the uh, Zygarde right here, which is probably Banded, from the looks of it. I can go for the HP Ice pretty safely, but I know it won't knock him out. And I know Thousand Arrows is coming out from his side. I'm going to go out into Guard Chomp. Yep, there's a Thousand Arrows. That's Banded. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is go for the Stealth Rock. And then I'm going to SD here. He gets up his own rocks. And then what I'm going to do is start Earthquaking this thing, which does a ton. Is he Power Whip? Gyro Ball? Gyro Ball. Should we actually end up trading Mons there, but um, I'll take that. My way of winning this game is with Magnezone. Actually, if it's Scarf uh, Gengar, then we, I think we just lose. Uh, what do I think he brings out here? I think he brings out the... Actually, I think he definitely goes Zygarde no matter what. Yep, there's the Zygarde. Probably ex should expect the HP Ice, but... Or a Brick. That's definitely not knocking him out by any means. As he goes through the Iron Tail and misses. Unfortunate. I don't know whether what he expected there, whether we, uh, I would switch out to, to Tapu Bulu to resist the Thousand Arrows, but... That was definitely a pretty big misplay on his part. Because I can just... Uh, Thunderbolt here. Knock this thing out. And if, if, if let's see if it's Scarf Gengar. I don't think you knock me out by any, with anything. But I think I need this thing to win, so we're gonna go out, we're gonna go out into the Magnezone. So he goes for the Psy Shock, does nothing, and I know he's scarfed into that, so we can just safely click the Flash Cannon here. Uh, judging from the fact that he switched that in right away, actually we should have gone for the Thunderbolt. He no, if he went to Zygarde, that could be a big problem. He should have Focus Blast. This is not knocking me out, yeah. And uh, I think we just, yeah, we just definitely won a match that we should have lost. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the live. We didn't get a full Mega Subtile sweep off, but we did manage to go 4-1 and one in today's live. So uh, definitely be sure to subscribe down below if you don't want to miss any content. And ring that bell, and be sure to check out uh, where I got this music from. And I will see you guys in the next video.